Greetings, denizens of the digital world. It is I, the Zero Killer, coming today on day 179 of the year of vlogging dangerously. And welcome, everyone, to the future. Yes, June 27th, night, or 2012 is the date which Doc Emmett Brown set his time machine to as the future. Today, or at least at 1 o'clock in the morning today, was the future. And, uh... Yeah, you know, an occasion like this has to be celebrated by with reflecting on how time travel in the future has been portrayed in media over the years. Um, going back to the earliest popular example of time travel in fiction, H.G. Wells in The Time Machine. And, you know, and then it was portrayed as in, in, he, he sought distances beyond our understanding and beyond our worldview, where there were crazy scapes of buildings and such, but people had devolved into something simple-minded and... and and peaceful, with, of course, a darker side to it, but they'd evolved way beyond anything that we had understood, and it was it was a great way of exploring cultural norms and paradigms without having the, the saddlebags of, a, of, of people along the way. And then, of course, you go further along, and time travel gets depicted as something where people can go and they can see the not-so-distant futures, or a future that looks almost exactly like our own, but slightly off in a way. And then you get the uh, the fifties, where the the future, the fifties and sixties, where the future was all flying cars and crazy robots and and cities that were vast and huge, but alien, like the Jetsons. Yeah, the Jetsons are a great example of what the future was supposed to be like. They never defined a time, though. And then, of course, you get closer and closer to the modern day in the 80s, or the, the, the now, in the 80s. The 80s, they thought time travel was going to... The, the, to them, the future was 1999. 1999, inexplicably, seemed to be the future for a lot of different franchises. The Terminator franchise, the uh, Escape From franchise, a lot of others used 1999 as this kind of drop-dead time for the future. And, uh, of course, 2012 for, the, for Back to the Future, but Back to the Future was a little different. Um, a lot of the, the 80s movies that talked about time travel, it was all about, like, Earth as it was, but either darker or with slightly different technology. It wasn't too much of a stretch, because it wasn't that far in the future. But even if you thought of the future, the future, further along, it was never that different. It was just technology taking another step. And of course, you get back to the future, where you got your flying cars all over the place, and your hoverboards and whatnot, but everything still seems familiar. Everything is always still familiar, and I don't know if that's a limitation of the, the, the writer and the craft or the art, that everything is familiar, but not familiar. I don't know. Uh, and then you get your Star Treks and stuff, and your speculative fictions, but the, 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 the future, it's always, if it's got a static date, for some reason it always seems to be 20 years away or so. Or 30 years at the most, if you're going to be traveling. I don't know, it's... it's after H. G. Wells' time, where time travelers just too lazy to go for giant jumps, were they too afraid? I don't know. But what the takeaway lesson here is that we're all time travelers. We are. We're all traveling into the future, one second at a time. Yes, I've said it before. It's goofy. It's true, though. But also, when we think and dream of the future, we're creating it. We just have to harness that ability ourselves. So, welcome to the future. Again, because it's the future of the past of when I started recording this video. And I don't know. I could get really ridiculous from there. I think I'm going to stop. Welcome to the future. I have, as usual, been the Zero Killer. Questions, comments, concerns, death threats, you know where to put them. Put them in the comment section below. I'm going to stop doing that creepy hand thing when I say below. Eventually. And I will see you all tomorrow. Right now, i got to get rid of the beard, have a shower, and go to work. Yay, work. Only two days of work this week, though, and seven days off, so I love that. I will talk to you tomorrow.